hi there this is azhar islam welcome back to my youtube channel and today in this video i am going to show you how to design your woocommerce customer dashboard using elementor page builder you can design or you can also add your custom design and you can easily apply your design on this WooCommerce dashboard and you can also edit change color change link and change icons and you can add anything from here and just you can apply your design and click on update and this design will be applied on your WooCommerce dashboard page so i will show you how to add these functionalities on your website and let's get started and before starting this video please like comment share and subscribe the youtube channel to get more updates so this is my demo website and i wanna add this function on this website just go to account and click on my account so i just log in my admin account admin username and admin password so you can also try to log in your admin account and click on login button and see this is our default WooCommerce dashboard page so i wanna remove this text and also remove this text uh, from this section so first of all you have to log in your WooCommerce website and you have to log in your control panel or c panel then you need to go to your file manager and go to your public html or root directory and these are my wordpress files just go to wp content and go to themes and go to extra so this is my theme i have activated extra theme so i don't have any style theme i wanna add style theme so if you have any style theme you will see uh, like extra style your theme style name so i don't have any style theme so to generate my style theme just go to plugins and click on add new right now i don't have any style theme just you can check your style theme go to themes let's see our main theme is extra and we don't have any style theme so to active style theme just you have to install a plugin that's called style theme and install this theme style theme configurator because i wanna configure or uh, create a new style theme so then active this plugin and hover over your tools and click on style themes we have got style theme configurator and uh, select your main theme theme i wanna create style theme for extra theme and click on analyze and scroll down this is our style theme new directory you can also change your style theme directory and scroll down and select this option copy menus wizards or other customizer settings i wanna save my uh, old customizer or old customizer settings uh, that's why i am selecting the option click on create new style theme we have created and configured the style theme go back to your plugins and click on install plugins just deactivate the style theme configurator and go back to your appearance click on themes i wanna check my style theme so let's see this is my extra style theme and i wanna active this style theme click on active and go to your website so before starting this work you have to create a new backup you can use wpb with plugin to backup your website then reload your website our website is working perfectly and go to your my account page and to remove these options uh, just go to your uh, style theme option or you can also go to your file manager and go to your wordpress root directory and click on wp content click on themes uh, sorry uh, click on plugins go to plugins folder and uh, open the woocommerce folder and then go to templates and go to my account you have to download the dashboard.php file just click on write button and click on download to download this file so we have downloaded this file and you have to upload this file just go back to your public.html folder just click on public html and uh, again click wp content and go to themes folder and open the extra style folder uh, or extra style theme and create a new directory just click on folder and type woocommerce click on create a new folder and open the folder click again folder 
and type my account and click on create new folder and open this folder and click on upload and select this downloaded file just select this file and click on open we have uploaded this folder and click on right button and click edit and again click on edit and then I scroll down and see this is our logout text and this is our from your account dashboard so we have two paragraph section uh, number one logout hello and logout option and follow hello and logout and from your account dashboard text just follow this text uh, just go back here and uh, let's see this is our second text so i wanna uh, remove these options paragraph one and paragraph two okay and remove and click on save changes and go back to your my account page and click on reload let's see we have deleted this text and then i wanna show our elemental design on this section just go back to your plugins and click on add new click on add new and search for any higher elementor and active this plugin anywhere elementor and make sure you have activated elementor plugin uh, if you don't have Elementor plugin, uh, just search for Elementor and uh, click on Active Elementor plugin, Elementor Face Builder. So then click on Active to active the plugin. This is our Elementor plugin. You will get Elementor shortcut uh, for design. So I wanna add uh, new text or some new design to show this design on this section. Go to all AE templates and click on add new we don't have any elementor uh, design or template i just typing dashboard you can type anything i just typing dashboard and click on publish to publish this option and click on edit with elementor or you can also uh, type some demo text i just type demo text I wanna uh, show this option and copy the PHP code, echo do short code or you can also copy this short code. If you show this short code on the my account, you can show your design on this section. You need to add an action hook, just search on Google WooCommerce my account hooks and go to the business bloomer. Click on this link just visit this link and scroll down and go to my account section and scroll down uh, i wanna use woocommerce account dashboard so i wanna use this short code and go back to your file manager from cpanel and go to public html open wp content and go to themes and open extra child and you have to edit functions.php file from style theme and click on edit and again click on edit okay and you have to add some code under this uh, text and type add action don't worry i will give you this code on video description box below and then you need to create two parameters for first one just paste this hook just copy the hook and paste this action hook and then you have to type your function name i just create a new function uh, just typing my account custom design okay my account custom design and copy this function and create a new function just typing function and paste this function name add second bracket and hit enter just follow my structure and type echo and you can paste your short code just copy from echo do short code and copy this code and paste it on here just paste this short code and function name is do short code to show this short code on this section and this is our add action function and click on save changes and go to my account page and reload okay we don't find any design 
just delete this text and click on Elementor edit with Elementor I wanna add my design on this page and then you can add your content or you can add your design or you can add your section uh, for example I wanna add the heading section or heading text just uh, drag and drop and uh, type dashboard and click on update so and go to my account page I just check my account page uh, let's see this is our dashboard text and if you change any design just click on pencil icon and you can change the alignment and you can change text color uh, you can change text color or you can add any divider whatever you want or also you can add more icon section videos and you can add your icon box just search for icon and you can add icon box or you can also add icon list and you can duplicate your icon uh, box and then you can also update your section and then reload this page let's see we have got our dashboard icon and we have got our design so you can easily design this uh, dashboard page using elementor i want to add my existing dashboard page or template uh, so before adding this template you have to active flexbox container so just go back to your wordpress dashboard go to elementor and click on settings and click on experiments and scroll down and see you have to active your flexbox container just select active and scroll down and click on save changes to active this flexbox container option and click on update and reload this page so let's see this is our flexbox container option and you can uh, also add your more container uh, just click on uh, a small plus icon and you can add your flexbox section or you can divide it your container and you can also uh, change anything so I just add my existing template and I will provide you this design on video description box below just check it click on my templates and we don't have any templates just upload our template and click on select file and WooCommerce dashboard design JSON file I wanna upload this template for Elementor that's name WooCommerce dashboard page template click on insert and let's see we have added our template and this is mobile responsive this is also mobile responsive tablet responsive and this design is fully responsive for mobile or any device so you can change your icon links just click on pencil icon and you have to change your link uh, this is my domain name so you can also change your domain name just go to your my account page uh, I just go to my account page and you can copy the order text uh, order links just click on your right button and click on copy link address and paste it in here uh, paste okay and also you can change the text all order or you can change my orders and you can also change icon just click on a style tab and you can also change icon color uh, I just change my icon color okay and you can also change your background icon color just click on content or click on advance scroll down and click on background you can also change your background color okay that's it also you can uh, change your my wallet option or address option just go to address section click on your right button and copy link address and paste your link in this field just paste it in here and click on update and reload this page my account page and see we have got our design dashboard design and if you wanna add wallet system or wallet option on your website just go back to your 
website dashboards you can also add your wallet system uh, just go to plugins and click on add new and search for wallet and install this plugin terra wallet and click on active to active this plugin and active this functionalities wallet functionalities so i will make a new video for terra wallet and i will explain you how to use this uh, terra wallet plugin and how to uh, change these options okay don't worry and reload this my account page we will get a new option for terra wallet just uh, copy the link and go back to your elementor page builder and click on pencil icon replace this link uh, account wallet okay and click on update again reload this page and click on wallet icon we have added this link uh, terra wallet link and our customers can add their money or they can uh, easily top up on your website and they can use this balance on your website and they can uh, purchase anything and go back to your dashboard and you can also copy the logout text or logout link and if it's written here uh, using the elementor section so thanks for watching this video if you like this video please like comment share and subscribe the youtube channel to get more updates